cup on red like a target buggy. And I still young, only 2 a.m. Let's get it started like Will I Young. Picture me rolling like Macavilla. What's good, YouTube? Today we got a reaction video. You might ask why I got this hat on my head inside the house. Your boy don't got a retwist. He looking kind of rough. So we're just going to leave it at that. Today we got top 10 unsolved mysteries across America. Let's see if we can solve them. Boy, if you don't get... United States, we want an answer. We want to know why. We want to know who. And until we do, I think there will always be an interest. Number 10, Escape from Alcatraz. It's a prison where every inmate learns one thing. There is no way out. It was one of America's most infamous... I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never been to jail before. But I watched Prison Break. And I feel... I ain't gonna say I can probably escape, but I feel if them niggas, it's not like just something you see on TV. I feel like, goddamn, if they was to able to put it on TV, somebody done did that shit in real life. If you feel what I'm saying. Famous prisons, and for good reason. Located off the coast of San Francisco, the Alcatraz Federal Pen. Nah, but that shit though. Nah, that shit got its own island. You beat, cuz. You beat. Tentury was deemed inescapable. That is, until 1962, when a group of inmates made it outside the prison's walls. According to official reports, they left decoys behind, escaped through air vents, and fled on a raft. God damn it, Mars, I said yep. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Their bodies have never been recovered, leading some to believe the attempt was successful. One of the alleged escapees even sent a note to the FBI claiming that they had made it. However, others are less optimistic and believe that they succumbed to the rough waters. With no physical evidence, their whereabouts remain elusive. Although, the event did- Them boys gone, man. <laughs> if they had time to escape and then troll the government, writing them a letter, them boys had that shit figured out for sure. It lead to Alcatraz being shut down. I think they made it. Uh, why they got away was because uh, everybody else that tried to get off this island was accounted for. Those three guys are still unaccounted for today. Number nine, Kryptos. This mystery is interesting simply oh, because Superman? it was created to be one. Erected in 1990, the odd statue sits just outside the CIA headquarters in Langley, Virginia. It's a large stone covered in characters that make up four different cryptic messages. It is about 12 feet tall and 20 feet long. It has thousands of characters <laughs> carved into it. Although three of these messages have been successfully decoded. That shit's a Take it's me to your leader. Countless people have attempted to solve it. No, I'm not solving that shit. Clues to help. It's considered that shit look like fucking script scraps. That shit look like somebody, you know, <laughs> you know, like in cartoons when they go to sleep on the keyboard and it just be, it just be typing. That's what that shit look like. This shit was a mistake. They didn't mean to make this. Be one of the most famous unsolved codes in the world. While some words have slowly been revealed, no. the overall message that is shit fake. solved. That shit you fake. can only imagine the public reaction on the day the 97-letter message is finally cracked, bringing an end to one of America's most captivating puzzles in recent times. Yes, cryptos will be solved. I couldn't tell you when, but real code, it's a real cipher. It's solvable. Number eight, the Knights of the Golden Circle. A conspiratorial organization that hides its secrets so well that it has almost disappeared. Some Illuminati shit. The Civil War was the culmination of disagreement between states, but tensions were already high before its outbreak. Prior to the war, a group of wealthy Southerners established a secret group called the Knights of the Golden Circle. Their the goal fuck? was to form their own country and continue owning slaves there. Their initial Damn. goal was to establish... See, I was going to give them their props. I was going to give them their props to say that's some smart creative shit, but then they... Slaves, man. You, you you see my color? That's my people. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck y'all niggas. An empire. That they were holding Hell no. People, the grandeur Hell of no. ancient Rome. No. However, rumors suggest that their motives were even more insidious than they let on. President Lincoln's murderer, John Wilkes Booth, was an alleged member of the group leading to speculation that his assassination was planned by them. Supporters include future Confederate president, high-ranking Southern politicians, what the fuck is that guy? Officers, and a famous actor named John Wilkes Booth. 
Although the Knights dissolved after the war, there are theories proposing that the group still exists today with ongoing tension. Hey, bro, I want to say some shit that's completely off topic, off subject. So, <laughs> this finna sound crazy as fuck. Y'all know Men in Black, right? The people that be with the little... Psh, hear me out. I low-key think that shit is real. Because movies... Bro, movies don't just come up with these ideas out of nowhere. That shit had to... You gotta think, bro. You gotta think. One can't help but wonder about the possibility of their resurgence. Number seven, Jimmy Hoffa's disappearance. The fate of Just this call the union leader may not be a mystery, but the identity of his killer and the whereabouts of his remains certainly are. It's clear that my father has been assassinated and that uh, we're probably never going to see him again or find the body. Jimmy I know a school shooter when I see one. He's one. He know where his daddy at. Hoffa made you, you know how they be when they be arguing with their parents and shit. Plenty of enemies during his rise to the top, which only became worse as he achieved power in the union. In 1975, he suddenly disappeared and was never seen again, dead or alive. When I had coffee with him the day before, I warned him. I said, Mr. Hoffa, there's a lot of people very upset. And his words to me were, my people will never harm me. An extensive investigation was conducted. And besides a single hair strand, hardly any evidence. Close that back door, don't get snaked by your homie. Generous, That's all I gotta say. dollar reward, which helped get people talking from all across. 200 racks. Seven years. I would have found his ass. Hoffa was <laughs> Additional information has come you know, to Epstein sense. Island. To this day, his body has never been found. Although some cryptic hints have been left by former members of the mob. Number six, D.B. Cooper. He was the first man in U.S. history to hijack a plane for ransom. The events of this night are. This is not GTA, baby. Hijacking a plane. That shit ain't got no damn steering wheel. I'm pretty sure all of them millions of damn buttons and you're not going to be able to hijack it with no damn hot wire and ground wire. Hot wire, whatever. You're not going to be able to steal a plane like that. Do planes even take keys? It's going to sound crazy. I've never seen nobody put a key into a plane and fly to hell. I've never seen it. So intense that they seem more like a movie plot than real life. In 1971, a man now referred to as D.B. Cooper hijacked a plane, demanded cash and parachutes, then instructed the pilots to continue flying. Passengers describe him as an unremarkable guy. He's a Caucasian male. He's got on a dark suit, black tie, carrying a briefcase. Soon afterward, he jumped off while the plane was still in This nigga jumped out the plane? Oh, he's dead. Disbelief, and there was hey, you do realize when you that high up in the air, that pressure... That shit will fucking explode your head, from what I was told. From what from what I told, I ain't I ain't jumped out of a plane yet, so I don't know. And I know for a fact it's cold as shit up there. So how the hell this nigga just? That's fake. This is fake. Because once don't when you open the door in a plane that high up, all that shit gets sucked out. This shit fake, bro. Immediate speculation about his fate. Shit Some fate. believed he survived the jump and managed to escape, while others are certain he died upon impact. With his body having never been recovered, the question remains unanswered. If Cooper indeed survived, then he pulled off one of the greatest heists the country has ever seen. The mystery has frustrated the FBI for nearly 40 years. I think he was just a sleazy, rotten criminal. But has given the public a lasting legend. <laughs> Number five, the Black Dahlia. While there have unfortunately been numerous unsolved murders in the United States, this one stands out for its sheer brutality. The victim, Elizabeth Short, was found with extreme injuries, the most noticeable being macabre slashes across her face. She was a young woman who left her home to come find fame and fortune, maybe. In she was on a mission. News of the death quickly spread across the country, 
fueled by the unsettling fact that her murderer was still unidentified. Investigators believe the killer has to be someone with medical training, or at least expertise. They fucking took her organs or some shit? Many individuals have since tried to take credit for the crime, but the truth has yet to be uncovered. Today, nah, she don't. The crime and short she don't. still persists, with ongoing theories bringing forth new suspects and motives. Number four, Area 51. That shit is real. Secret. Area 51 is real. Area 51 is real. And I can't tell y'all how I know that. I can't speak on it. A giant clandestine base that remained unacknowledged and disavowed by the U.S. government for almost 60 years. At first glance, this long-standing facility may not appear particularly exciting. Nevertheless, what lies inside the walls of Area 51 has fueled one of the country's most popular conspiracy theories. But <laughs> the public can only speculate, as the facility remains off-limits to civilians. The prevailing belief is that it serves as a containment site for extraterrestrial... I can't even cap. I can't even sit here and cap. If I was to see an alien, I don't care if I'm working in Area 51 I had, and I had a Drake thing in my hand. If I see an alien look at me, imagine an alien looking at you like this. Hell no, nah, bro. I feel no. Nah. Especially with them big ass black eyes. Nah, bro. I couldn't go back home. I have nightmares of that shit. Just look how he looking. It's real beings. Exactly what's going on up there. Well, there's several, uh, actually nine uh, flying saucers, flying discs. Uh, that are out there of extraterrestrial origin. But some also assert that it's a testing ground for devices capable. And bruh, we done been knew we had fucking aliens, bruh. There's no way we the only people on this on this whole universe. I'm not gonna say whole, I was gonna say whole planet. There's no way we the only people in this whole universe. Like, there's no way in the hell. So aliens are real. ...of weather control and time travel. Tensions peaked in 2019. I'm finna say some crazy shit to y'all. I don't think time travel is real. And I'm finna tell you why. I don't even, time is not even a real thing. Time is something humans made up on some shit just to calculate the days and shit to go past. I'm finna spit some shit to y'all real quick. This is finna blow your mind. How time is, how time works, say time travel was possible. To somebody, you, in the life you are living right now, you are already dead. Say we was to go back in time 20 years into the past type shit. No. Let's say we was to go back in time. Your ancestors lived 100 years ago. To them, right now, they still live in their life. But to us, they're dead. If we go back in time, we can see them living their life. But we go back to our time, they dead. And that's crazy. To you, damn. I'm <laughs> to you, in the future, you're dead. But no, to fuck it. We on to the next. Teen when an online campaign urged people to storm the base. While some reached the property, no one successfully made it inside. A bunch of random people no. in weird costumes standing outside no. of a government base? Mm -hmm. Why would you want to miss that? The stringent security measures around Area 51 have seemingly resulted in one of the biggest strike end effects in history. He's off that shit. Number three, the lost colony of Roanoke. The fate of the... I remember reading about some shit, uh, in, uh, what's this, social studies, the Roanoke Colony. Wasn't that, like, the Indians or something? Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't want to be saying that and I'm wrong and shit. But it, I remember, I, I remember this. Residents in one of America's earliest settlements has stumped people for centuries. And they just, the they just disappeared without leaving no trace of anything. Like, they was just going like that. I remember reading about this shit. I know I'm not tripping. Roanoke Colony was established in 1585 by Sir Ralph Lane with a population of just over 100 people. However, when it was visited five years later, the colony was nothing yeah. more than a ghost town. All that remained was an earthwork fort. I didn't mean to say Indians. Here in the trees, not far from the shore. The only message left behind was yeah. a single cryptic word, Croatoan. To this day, no one is sure what became of the people who lived there. While some are optimistic that they integrated with local tribes, others fear a more sinister fate. 
As one of the country's oldest mysteries, it has remained a staple of pop culture, even inspiring a season of American Horror Story. The Lost Colony remains this mystery that's at the very heart of the, the Lost Colony. Yeah, hell yeah, People I remember reading that shit. By I was doing my homework back in the day. So little about the place. Number two, the Zodiac Killer. In the 19th. Look at this picture. This don't look like my people. We got a motherfucker killing people off Zodiac signs? Yeah. The world's been doomed before this shit even started, for real. I don't even believe in that Zodiac shit. It's gonna make a lot of people mad. Fuck it. I don't believe in that shit. My Zodiac sign, they say I'm a Cancer. But damn, I'm a Cancer. They say... We emotional, we do that that crying shit. No. No, 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 no. 60s, the Zodiac Killer. Ter I know y'all done came across a girl. She got them say, oh no, you a Leo, I can't talk to you. Oh no, you a Cancer, I can't talk to you. That shit is the most annoying shit ever. I got a homeboy. I forgot what the, this, mother, this, he, this motherfucker is so funny. He say, Oh, she a Sagittarius just like me. I know she a freak. Nigga, what? What the hell does a Zodiac sign got to do with somebody being a freak? Come on, yo. Terrorizes the San Francisco Bay Area. While America has seen its fair share of serial killers... Some Hollywood years, shit. This one stands out for his uncanny ability to evade capture. Utilizing <laughs> cryptic puzzles and ciphers, the Zodiac killer was unlike any other killer of his time. It says he likes killing because it is so much fun. <laughs> He claims to be collecting slaves for his afterlife. He was responsible for five known deaths during his spree, but claimed to have killed 37. Despite advancements in forensic technology, no conclusive answers to his identity have been obtained. The mystery not only became a major facet of pop culture, but it even inspired a popular online meme at one point. Although decades have passed since his last confirmed victim, it's unsettling to think that a murderer could have been roaming free for the last... He might still be here. If the Zodiac is still alive, he's probably laughing because he's been watching other people be accused of his crimes for years. Before we unveil he our might topic, be yo ass. here are some honorable mentions. The Phoenix Lights, a phenomenon that, that helped cultivate a generation of alien conspiracy theorists. Was it a military mission? A prank, perhaps? I think I remember hearing about this. I think I did. And I think that's uh the shit that on the airplane, you know, the air not on the airplane, but like so the airplane can see the the track at night type shit, like the you know the fuck or I'm talking about. from outer space. Mass bird death, fuck. an odd phenomenon where thousands of birds crashed into buildings, trees, and more. To find you know large group of dead birds. Yeah, I see that shit. I'm getting the fuck out of there. I'm. I'm out of there. Out of there. Out of there. Imagine you just driving and you just see about 50 birds just fall down on the whip. Nigga, my heart's gonna be racing a thousand miles an hour. I know the world is over. That shit is over. It is over. You see them birds fall down? <laughs> Good luck, Charlie. Birds and multi species like this is certainly something uh, that. Uh, piques our concern. The Gurdon Light, a glowing light that many believe is powered by a ghost looking for his head. It's like a glowing white light, like a lantern. My mother often said that it was swamp gas, what it would have to be. Before we... Number one, Amelia Earhart's disappearance. She was one of the most famous people in the world. People hung on her every word and followed her activities. A success story turned... She had the hose. What happened to Amelia Earhart remains one of the biggest American mysteries. The Earhart fuck is, is that? considered a trailblazer, becoming the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean. In 1937, she embarked on a flight across the Pacific with her navigator, and they were... Did she go... Did she, like... She landed in the Bermuda Triangle or some shit? Never seen again. What made the situation even more unsettling was the fact that her plane couldn't be found either, almost like it had vanished into thin air. Y'all want to know some crazy shit? I heard the Bermuda Triangle is like a gateway to hell on some shit. She probably flew over that shit and got them. Because look, 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 look. When you fly over that shit or swim, goddamn boat through that shit, whatever the fuck, you lose signal. I seen a video. I did my homework. What the fuck you talking about? 
You lose signal. She probably lost signal and that goddamn plane cut off and pff, them demons got her. I don't know, bro. Because didn't like a, the Malaysia airplane disappear on some shit? Countless theories have popped up since her disappearance, ranging from her simply crashing into the ocean to yeah. her being a spy for President Roosevelt. There were some Imagine. stories. That spy shit crazy. That's why you can't trust hoes. See, this is why you can't trust hoes, bro. Can't trust them. We're for damn. Or that suggested that she had been forced down somewhere and captured by the Japanese. Well, nothing has I been ain't stopping shit. You got to blow this hoe up. Remains one of the biggest you got to blow this plane up, baby. History. Which American mystery would you love to see solved in your lifetime? Let us know in the comments below. Who the fuck is that guy? That shit kind of creepy. Could be the biggest break in years in the legendary D.B. Cooper skyjacking case. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from what. Well, that's it for today's video. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace.